In this video, we're going to cover payments in CheckCherry. CheckCherry makes it easy for your clients to pay. You can collect a signature and a deposit at the same time, offer multiple payment options, and collect partial payments and tips both before and after a booking happens. So for credit card processing, we integrate with Stripe and Square. And we also integrate with PayPal, and they have a credit card component as well, but they also have PayPal as a payment option. And when you integrate with Stripe or Square, you automatically unlock Apple Pay and Google Pay for your customers. CheckCherry also has what we call custom payment methods, where you can add buttons for popular payment methods for clients, such as Venmo, Cash App, and Zelle. Ultimately, you can end up with a payment page that looks like this. Lots of options. Clients love payment options. This is going to increase the chances that you're able to get that deposit um, and have successful online bookings, uh, proposals accepted, and just make it easy for clients to pay any outstanding balances. Let's just dig in here. So Apple Pay and Google Pay will automatically show up for eligible clients. It's smart. For example, uh, Apple Pay only is available for people who are using the Safari web browser, and so it'll only show up for those customers if they're eligible. Again, Stripe and Square integrations automatically unlock these options. So then we have debit or credit card. This is the standard or traditional way of manually entering a credit card number. Again, Stripe. Square and PayPal as well. So if you integrate Stripe and PayPal, for example, let's say you use Stripe for credit card processing and PayPal because you want to offer PayPal as a payment option, um, CheckCherry is going to favor Stripe or Square for the credit card processing, but still give a PayPal button down there. Here is PayPal, obviously pretty self-explanatory. Uh, PayPal controls which buttons show up, uh, PayPal, uh, pay later in this example. And then here are our custom payment buttons. And you can change the color of these. You can also change the position of all of these buttons. And we'll show you that in a little bit. But these are not true integrations with CheckCherry. They just give your customers a helpful call to action to let them know that you're willing to accept payment with these methods. Okay, so I'm in my CheckCherry account and you can get to these payment settings by going to Manage, Business Settings, and then Payments. And first up we have a credit card and you'll notice it's disabled right now. And so I can connect a Stripe account or connect a Square account. In this example, I'm gonna connect Square. So just click the button and I've already logged into my Square account and so it'll automatically just redirect and connect it. And so we're good to go here, it's enabled. Uh, same with PayPal. Uh, I'm already logged into PayPal. Uh, just click the connect with PayPal button and oh, I guess I got to log in. And I'm in. So that's been enabled. Now, uh, there is uh, some default custom methods such as check and cash. So this has been enabled. So if you want to accept check um, and so on. But here is where we can add the uh, custom payment instructions. And so I can add new and uh, yes, I do want to add a new one and I'm going to cheat here. Uh, I've got some, so let's say we add Zelle and we'll just go ahead and uh, enter our information. And this is where you can change the button color. So this is helpful specifically for uh, some of these payment options because you can grab the color from the brand and uh, enter it in there. So let's save that and we're good to go. And so I'm going to also add uh, off screen um, some more uh, options, Cash App and Venmo. Now, if you scroll down here, uh, there are additional settings. So you can customize the invoices. And so this right here will allow you to uh, override um, what shows up on your invoices as opposed to just your business address. Um, you can turn the tip section on or off uh, so when people make a payment, they're given a, a separate field uh, prompting them to provide a tip. And there's also deposits and due dates. And so I can come here and say, hey, when is your uh, final payment due? 
before the booking. And so this, this example is set to seven days and you have a few options as to what you want to call your deposit. Is it initial payment, a booking fee, a retainer and a deposit? So, okay. So I'm looking at one of my bookings now and let's go to the make a payment page and see how it looks. Um, so here uh, we can specify how much we're ready to pay. Uh, let's throw a tip in there and hit make payment. And you'll notice, um, payment options will show up now. You'll also notice that I don't have Apple pay. I'm actually in Google Chrome right now. So you're not going to see Apple pay. I do see Google pay. There's debit or credit, PayPal, uh, check. Uh, and then my, these are all custom payment methods. And so you can also change the order of these. And you might want to do that if you find one is more popular. So for example, let's say I want to move Venmo up above check. So in order to do that, let's go back over to the payment settings and you'll see these arrows right here. And so let's move Venmo up and yeah, let's go one more. Okay. And one more above check. So we have first up credit card, next is PayPal, then Venmo, then check then uh, cash doesn't show, uh, Zelle cash app. And so we'll go back to the payment page and let's hit refresh. And you'll see here now my Venmo button is higher. So you can order these. Um, I would order them based on uh, the frequency that they're used. Um, so consider something, just make it easy for customers to uh, find uh, what they're looking for. Okay, and that is payments in Check Cherry. I hope you enjoyed this video. And feel free to chat with us if you have any questions or need help. Thanks so much.